Before solving this question, let's go ahead and take a look at what the question is asking. We're told that if two positive integers, x and y, are not both even, then which of the following must be odd? Now, before we dive into picking kind of values for x and y and testing the answer choices, it's always a good idea to, especially if we're dealing with even and odd um, kind of questions, uh, we're asked which of the following must be odd. So we want to consider odd properties for a second. Um, for a number to be odd, that means it's some even number, so two times some kind of value, plus one. And that would land us in um, an odd number, and n is an integer. And it's always a good idea to remember this form. Um, an even number would be two times some integer, um, and an odd number would be two times some integer, so that would be an even number, and then plus one would make it odd. So let's take that kind of mentality, that structure of knowing that our answer has to be an odd number, and take a look at our answer choices. Uh, so there's nothing indicating that we have um, an even and odd here. Uh, same thing in B. C is kind of the same deal. We don't really have this structure blatantly apparent to us. Uh, choice D does have a plus one, but we're not specific. We don't know exactly what X plus Y is uh, because we don't have a factor of two. So it kind of depends on what those numbers would be if we were to test values. Uh, but choice E looks really similar. Uh, we have two times something. We know X and Y are integers. So uh, these would this X plus Y would definitely be an integer. Uh, whatever integer it is, it's multiplied by 2, so we know that product's going to be even. And if we add 1, it's definitely going to be odd. So we actually don't need to pick uh, numbers or choices for x and y. We know that the answer is e. No matter what our x and y are, this product and then plus 1, uh, this d will definitely result in an odd number. It must be odd. So our final answer choice is answer choice e. and um, that's a technique that we want to use, uh, especially when we're dealing with even and odd questions. A lot of times uh, we're so quick to plug in numbers into our x and y without even kind of thinking about our answer choices. So we always want to look at our answer choices first, especially the structure, to see if we have anything that really stands out that matches up what we're asked for. And that would be answer choice E.